Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Carrie and today I'm going to be creating a happy birthday card, which is a really fun, really bright and really happy. And I'm going to be using some new products and some classic products from Heffy Doodle. The stamps that I'm using today is this one called Wingman. And I already have this parrot all colored up, but I'm going to also stamp and die cut out the little perch for him to sit on. I'll use my Misty to do this just in case I need to stamp it a couple of times to get a nice dark impression. But I just stamped it one time this time and it looked great. So that was really awesome. I'm using some nice black ink for this, stamping that down, and you'll see that it looks pretty good right there. So I decided to keep it at that. And now I can go ahead and die cut that out. The coordinating dies are really great with this set, especially for this perch because it does cut all around it, including it cuts the inside piece right out. I'm gonna use some heffy tape here to go ahead and hold that down so that I can cut this out with my die cut machine. I'm lining this up the best I can without getting my head <laughs> in the way of the camera. So you'll see I'm taking my time just to make sure that's right in the correct spot. And then I'll tape that down with my Heffy tape. Now in order for it to fit through my mini die cut machine from Heffy Doodle, I'm gonna just cut it out. And I find that if I have a three inch strip of paper that it fits perfectly through the die cut machine. But I'm just gonna trim this just like this so I can get it to fit right through and I'll save that paper for another use right over there. I'll just add this to my die cut plate, add the additional cut, die cut plate over the top and run that through nice and easy. And as you know, I really love keeping this right next to me so I can just die cut anything right here at my desk, which is really handy. So there's the die cut perch. It looks so perfect. And now I'll just color up the perch using some E50 Copic markers. So I had my E53 right there, and now I'm gonna blend that out with the E51. And I'll also use that E51 just around the top of it. I think it does make it look a little bit gold. Kind of, It's kind of a beigey gold feeling there. So I'll just carefully trace that around, and that's all there is to that. Next thing that we wanna do is cut out our deckled paper dies. Now I've chosen three of these and I'm going to match my parrot with the paper that I use to cut these out. So the smallest one I will cut out with white cardstock and then I'm gonna use some red, orange, yellow, and green. And so you can see there's the layers here, the red, the orange, the yellow, and then I just did the background, that lime green to match the parrot. So you'll see that I did color up the parrot with Copic markers, just using a rainbow of colors and blending them into each other. I think it makes for a really beautiful parrot. And now I'm going to choose the stencil that I'm gonna use on the smallest white deckled paper die cut. I decided to go for this one here, which is the Vertical Vines stencil. And I'll take it and put it on my grip mat then I'll blend some Peacock Feathers Distress Ink right over the top. Now this grip mat is holding my stencil pretty well, but in the center it did shift a little. So this stencil may be a little more stable if you spray it with a little removable adhesive like a Pixie spray on the back, but it worked out just okay with, for me as I held it with my hands in the center. And you can see that I am gonna cover quite a bit of it with the parrot anyway. I'm choosing the sentiment that says happy bird day, and I'm just gonna use that simple little sentiment here right on the bottom of this panel. So I'll stamp that down with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and that will create a really nice impression. This time I did have to stamp it a number of times so that it was nice and dark. So I will ink it and then re-ink it and stamp it multiple times. So you see it's kind of light the first time. That's why I love having a Misty to make my stamping perfect. So there we go. And now let's go ahead and 
pop that bird right up onto the panel. The easiest way I found is to go ahead and glue the bird to the perch. That way it becomes all one element that I can tack down with some foam adhesive. And I'm going to use Heffy Doodle's foam strips. But before that, I will punch a hole in the top of the, of the perch. Now, I did have a small enough hole punch, but if you don't, you can use your craft pick to punch a hole right in the top there. And that will work well too. And then I'm just gonna take some cord here and I've chosen the black cord and I put it through the hole that I stamped in the top or that I punched in the top. Now I can go ahead and add some foam tape to the back. And like I said, I'm going to use those foam strips from Heffy Doodle. They come in a couple of different sizes. There is this really thin one here, which is what I'm gonna use around the top and that bottom of the perch, just like this. So I'll just cut a few pieces so that each area is covered. I'll also do a little more on the sides here so that it's nice and stable. And then I'm going to use some of the thicker foam tape in the center. And then also on the tail of that parrot. So he's all going to be fully supported. <laughs> there we go. Now I'll just remove the backing to all of that foam tape and go ahead and put that on the panel. For the cording, I will go ahead and tape that around the back side of the panel. That will keep it stable and secure. So I'll place this down where I want it first, just like that. And then I'll take the cord and wrap it around the back of the panel. I wanted to try to see if I liked it tied first, but I didn't like that. So I removed that and I'm just gonna see, take it around the back. I'm just gonna use some tape to secure that on the back just like there there we go and that's going to keep that cording in place now we can go ahead and start attaching all of our deckled paper edges together just like this and i decided that yellow was a little bit too bright it was screaming i mean it's already a very bright card <laughs> but the yellow was just a little much so i decided to remove the yellow piece I'm testing it out here with the yellow back in, but it was just a little too much. So I removed that, and you can see that these deckled paper dies are so perfect for building up into layers. I think this is such a classic die set. I use it over and over again, whether it just be the largest one around a panel or using multiple panels like I am here. It's perfect and it's so easy to use. So I'll add that one there to the red piece and then I'll go ahead and glue that to the next piece down which is the orange piece. Just like that. Let that dry for a minute while I glue the green panel to the card base. Now I am gonna have to trim this a little because there's a little bit of white showing there but that's okay. I'll trim that up add the rest of it to that green lime green cardstock and there we go there's going to be our card but we're not done yet after i trim this i am going to add a little bit of embellishments now heffy doodle has some great choices for embellishments not only do they have their sequins in their sparkle mixes but they also have enamel dots my selection of enamel dots didn't have the colors I was looking for. I wanted some yellow and green. So I pulled out some of my sparkle mix and I chose this one here. This is the Hocus Pocus mix. It's got green and yellow, not to mention those gems in there. So I'm going to pick some of the green ones for the bottom left portion of the card and then some yellow and some gems for the upper right hand side of the card. I did mess with this quite a bit <laughs> before I decided on the arrangement, but I just wanted it kind of sprinkled across diagonally across the front of the panel. So as I choose some more green ones here for the bottom left portion, I'm finding some beautiful gems as well to add to that. 
And once I am satisfied with the arrangement, I'll go ahead and tack those down with some liquid adhesive. Very simple and easy to do when you have a gem picker like this. So I'll tack those down just like that. And you can see some of those gems there too. I'll hold this up for you so you can see the sparkle. These sparkle mixes are just beautiful and among my favorite sequins of all time. So there we go, there is our card for today. You can see the sparkle on the sequins, but also on the gems there. I put a gem on the left and, and a couple up on the right too. And look at that nice dimension we got on the parrot and the perch as well. So there's our card for to get today, a really fun, happy card. You can see that the deco paper die just really makes it have a finished look and it's so beautiful. I love that stencil in the background as well. And this would be a really fun fiesta card also. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back real soon with more cards to share. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.